Do our loved ones become angels once they cross over? Hi everybody, I'm Michelle and this is Angel Souls. If you're not familiar with my work, I am an angelic medium, which means this is a very different frequency from some other esoteric arts like tarot, psychic readings. This is fifth dimensional energy and above. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be posing that question to the angels and I'm going to give you the answers that they provide me. So the questions that we are, or the question I should say, that we're putting out there for this video is do our loved ones become angels once they cross over? So let's get that answer right here. Not exactly. <laughs> so they become angels in our perception. So a lot of times people get very defensive about that and they say no. When my grandpa passed over, he became an angel. That has to do with certain types of uh, belief systems in, in people taking literally what is meant to be, so to speak, right? So they are coming through and saying that angels are made of different stuff. They have a very different purpose. Now, you can be a human incarnated here who is working with the angels. I'm one of those people, obviously, right? Or allowing some angelic frequency to come on through so that you can give messages, so that you can provide light to others, be a healer. You know, all of that absolutely 100% is possible. But when someone crosses over, there is a process, they're saying, of detoxifying from this timeline. So the soul is split out into many different timelines. That's why the idea of twin flames is really problematic. I'll make a whole other video on that. But this energy that we come in with, we're in these density bodies. We take on a lot of energy, right? And so when we cross out, there needs to be sort of this acclimation process. So a lot of people report when they've had near-death experiences that they see a light, that it was absolutely peaceful. It was like coming home. They did not see hell, okay? And we'll talk about that. I'm gonna make a whole other video on that because they have something to say <laughs> to offer to all of you. So make sure you're watching out for that video as well. So in this acclimation process, when somebody comes out of the density body, everyone's experience can be, there, there'll be similarities obviously, but it can be varied depending on what the ego consciousness was doing at the point of release, okay? At the point of transformation. So when our loved ones go to the other side, they're going through that very process. Is it possible for a soul who is super advanced to kick over and go right into a fifth dimensional frequency? Absolutely. But not often do they turn around and become your spirit guide. They can't even become your spirit guide because there's a process for that. And there are timelines where we shift out, you know, the idea of, okay, I'll hang out on this side and watch over you. Uh, while you have your physical experience and then we'll swap jobs later on or something along those lines. But as far as becoming an actual angel, that does not happen. They are an angel, so to speak. So they could, you, and I'm going to give the comments, well, they're an angel to me. That's exactly my point. They're an angel to you, but they're not actually of the frequency of an angel, right? So they're in fourth dimensional energy they have stripped themselves of the physical body they might go on a whole process to maybe you know do a life review that is archangel jeremiah who helps out with that and then they can decide whether they're going to reincarnate and try the same lessons over or they might go on to something else so that is what they're saying about that <laughs> they're saying angels are we're all split from the one uh being whatever you want to call that being and we're all expressions of that being. But angels were specifically created in a certain uh, light frequency, a certain, um, I keep seeing it like, um, I want to call it plasma. It's not plasma, okay? Like, let's not go Ghostbusters here. But, like, <laughs> but there's just these little light particles that are vibrating all over and they come together in this spectacular show of light. And they are pure love. So angels, this can also go into this question is, you know, are there actually incarnated angels? A lot of people are going to argue this one too. 
they are saying no not as such so you see the answer here is that we try to take this very expansive information and squeeze it through our third dimensional ego consciousness and we mix a few things up okay so a lot of people will think that there's an actual angel soul which is where i got the name of my business and this channel and everything angel soul in a human body that is not possible they are saying that right now that is not possible we don't need a body um, that's not what we were created for. We're not designed for that. Watch the comments. Watch the comments, okay? Because <laughs> they're going to go, yeah, but this one time I had this horrible thing happen and an angel appeared. I was near death in a hospital. Uh, my throat was swelling and almost completely closed off. And I wasn't getting proper care. And this beautiful, insanely beautiful doctor, that's important. Because angels, uh, when they do, and we'll talk about this, when they do appear, and they do appear, but they're not in a human density body, okay? Uh, when they do appear, they can't hide their light. So the light shines through all their features, and it just makes them seem uh, extraordinarily like loving, peaceful, and again, beautiful. So this doctor came in, I kid you not, y'all, um, came in, was so compassionate, I almost cried because he just immediately made everything better. He came in, gave me proper treatment, and I went to contact the hospital later because this was an emergency situation, So, and I was passed between different doctors. I went to just thank him, and they did not have a doctor by that name there. Yeah, it was one of those situations. So what the heck is going on there? So we're covering two things here. What happens when we cross over? Do we become angels? We said, no, angels are made of different stuff. But then that starts to go into that question of what happens when an angel intervenes. Okay, so they can appear human. You can touch them. They can seem like they are density bodies. They are not. They are not. Okay, they are not. Or they work through other humans. So that could have been a human being and, just, you know, the angels are bringing their light into that person to a way that that soul can handle it and what that soul agreed upon to work through them to help another. But as far as this idea, this sort of a very simplistic idea that you got this angel and you're going to stuff them into a body, I've said this in videos before, the body would explode. The frequency is too much. This goes into another question. Well, what about our fifth dimensional selves? Guardian angels, you know, vibrate on a fifth dimensional level. They're still made of different stuff. So it's not as if, well, my fifth dimensional self can be integrated somewhat into this third dimensional ego consciousness reality. Why can't my guardian angel come and be a, a part of being human too? You're getting layers of that energy. It's not the full thing coming into a body. Okay. This also gets into the discussion of when people say an archangel came to them and gave them messages. Think of an archangel as calling out to you and the message is filtering down to you unless you're mother mary and you were built to be in the presence of archangel gabriel the full archangel gabriel uh not gonna happen okay <laughs> and even archangel gabriel is saying right now that he she they don't have gender but whatever he she came as a vision not in full form so she could see something there but didn't even approach mother mary with all of his her energy all right now i know i just cracked a bunch of stuff open here leave your questions down below this was just a starter video so we can make other videos going a little bit deeper into these topics so if you would like to get more information i do have a website angelsouls444.com but again leave your questions down below i'll make other videos and we'll leave it there i'm sending you all so much love and take care